As the name implies, the process of hypothesis testing begins by stating a hypothesis about the unknown population. Actually, we state two opposing hypotheses. Notice that both hypotheses are stated in terms of population parameters, because we always hypothesize about the population, even though we do our work with a sample. The first and most important of the two hypotheses is called the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis states that the treatment has no effect. In general, the null hypothesis states that there is no change, no effect, no difference, nothing happened, hence the name null. The second hypothesis is simply the opposite of the null hypothesis, and it is called the research or alternative hypothesis. This hypothesis states that the treatment has an effect on the dependent variable. The alternative hypothesis simply states that there will be some type of change. It does not specify whether the effect will be increased or decreased test scores. In some circumstances, if previous research showed a result in a certain direction, it is appropriate for the alternative hypothesis to specify the direction of the effect. This type of hypothesis results in a directional hypothesis test. At this time, I want you to write out the following phrases on a piece of paper and keep them handy through the rest of the lecture. The first phrase is, null hypothesis equals non-directional equals two-tailed. The second phrase is, research alternative hypothesis equals directional equals one-tailed. By the end of the chapter, you'll, you will know what these phrases mean.